This video is an introduction to Polyboard's project mode. We create a room layout and add cabinets to it, then edit and resize them to fit. We'll also show you the manufacturing output that's available in the full version of Polyboard. Detailed guidance on all the features in this video is available on our website. Let's first click on the new project icon here, and we'll start by creating a new floor area for the project. You can use the new rectangular floor icon in the toolbar, or you can right click and access it through this menu. The dimensions are actually set up as we want them, and the origin point, I'd like that top left as well. Click OK, and we can add further parameters here. The thickness of our floor, I want that set at 10 millimeters. And the texture for the floor, if I click on these three dots, in our textures folder and then the subfolder floors and walls, we've already got the sandstone texture selected. In this sub menu, we want it set to mosaic or tiled. The mirror effect, I want that turned off. And the dimensions, a width of the image 600 millimeters is exactly as I want it. So I'm going to click OK. And there's our floor set up in project mode. If I click down on the scroll wheel, I can then center my floor. If you don't have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can right click and use the move option. Just then click when that's set up and that will work. Right click to come out of move. Now let's set up a, a wall. This time I'm going to use the wall icon, new wall icon in toolbar. I want the thickness set at 100 millimeters. And let's have a different texture now. We'll go for this one, sandy mist. Now I'm going to start drawing in the edit surfaces window. Click here to add the first point, a second point here, third and then the fourth point in the wall. You can see in this preview window the wall getting set up. Now normally you're going to want to be completely accurate with your dimensions. Uh, we just applied the points quickly there. For the last one, let, let's do that. Um, that's selected. Over here we've got coordinates. If we set them to relative angle, we now can see the position of this last point relative to the previous one. I want that to be 650 millimeters away from that top right point. Click the green arrow to apply that. We can hover over that wall and we can see that that is now exactly 650 millimeters. The height I want to set at 2,500, two and a half meters. Click OK. Let's drag that more centrally. Take a first look in 3D at our project and how it's shaping up. Now that the room is ready, we can add our cabinets. Now you can create a completely new cabinet by clicking on this new cabinet icon that will open up the cabinet mode editing window and you can start a design from scratch. We're not going to do that. In this case, we're going to use the plus icon and add cabinets we've already made. You can also do that down here. In fact, in the model list window, let's add these four cabinets. I'm going to select control and A, select them all, and we can see them now loaded up in our model list. So to position them inside the project, we can click and drag them in. First of all, though, I'm going to change the view angle, this eye icon, click that, and let's have a top view. I'm going to drag this cabinet into our model. Now, Polyboard actually works with a set of clipping points. If I drag this close to the corner, it's going to clip exactly in place where I want it. I'm going to put the sink cabinet in next to it and clip that in place. And finally, for base cabinets, this door cabinet. We've also got a wall cabinet, which we want on the left hand side. I'm going to clip that in place as well. Now all the cabinets come in at zero height. We need to make some changes there. So the wall cabinet we've got selected. I've clicked on it in the model list. The Z position is set to zero. Let's raise up that cabinet by 1500 millimeters. And all, if I click control, I'm going to select all of those base cabinets and I'm going to change their Z position to 78 millimeters. I want them raised slightly because I'm going to be putting a plinth in below them later on. Now I want to measure this gap between the final cabinet on the right and the wall. 
going to click on the horizontal measure icon, go across over the edge of the cabinet, the side, I can click and then click again at the wall. I can see we've got a hundred millimeter gap. I want that just to be 50 millimeters. So first of all, I'll quit the measuring tool, click on that cabinet. And here in the properties menu, I'm going to change its width to 650 millimeters. So you can see that the cabinet's been resized, but also because of the parametric nature of polyboard, all the component parts of the cabinet have been resized too. Right, let's go on and add a plinth below the three base cabinets. I'm going to select all three base cabinets and the floor, so they're all selected. Right click and select create a filler. Here in this preview window, we can see a bit more clearly what's happening. We need to now make sure the plinth is in the right place. You can use these arrows to do that. So we've now got the plinth in the front where we want it. I'm going to leave this material, but I'm going to recess it by 30 millimeters and also zoom in on this edit window, and drag the plinth right over to the wall. That's in place. Now for this top point, the other way to do it, I can see that we've got an X coordinate of 2,500. If I click on the top point, I can change. We leave, don't have a relative angle here, just keep coordinates, and I'm gonna change the X value to 2,500. So now we've got our plinth moved across as we want it. Click OK, and now for the filler, we wanna put in on the right-hand side. Select that last cabinet and the wall, right-click and create a filler again. So let's zoom in again on the preview window and position the filler as we want it at the front. That's in place correctly. The recess, 30 millimeters again. I'm gonna change the material to the same material as our facades for our cabinets. Click OK and let's view in 3D. So we can see that all the cabinets in place, We've got our plinth and our filler now in the same material as these facades. We're now going to add a worktop to the three base cabinets. I'm going to select all of them, right click and create a countertop. The material I would like is a Formica, this bottom one, 38 millimeter material. And I wanna stretch my worktop to the wall. Click on the edge and just drag it up to the wall. Click OK and that's been applied. We can see in the model list we've got the plinth, uh, the filler on the right and the, the worktop. They're all shown now. Let's add a sink now and make the hole where the sink's going to fit in. The worktop's still selected. Over in the properties menu I can now go to the structures menu, edit, and we're going to add an inner tooling. Click on the green plus the shape's going to be rectangular, and I know the exact dimensions of my sink, so I'm going to put those in, 427, 770. Click OK, and that tooling's been applied. It's still selected, the worktop, so we're going to go back into the Structure Edit menu, Single Panel Fittings this time. We are going to add a fitting type 3D. Select the sink, click OK, and let's see how it looks in 3D. Let's add a window to this back wall now. In Polyboard, this is done by adding another wall and adding a window image to it. So I'm going to change to relative angle. Again, put in a first point on the left hand side, then a second. Now I want my window to be 1100 millimeters from the left hand side. So let's put that in. And the width of my window to be one meter. So there's our window. Let's double click on this left hand side point. It will then delete. So we're just left with our window. You can see it there. Let's add an elevation of one meter and the height of the window we're going to set to 1200 millimeters. Let's go and choose a window image now. Click on the three dot icon, go into the windows subfolder of textures Let's add this oak sliding window under the application submenu. Vertical's correct for the orientation I want, but we don't want mosaic, we want stretch. Click OK, and here's the window set up. 
Right, let's make two changes to our design now. I want to resize that wall unit and turn it into an open shelved unit. So I'm going to select the wall cabinet and change its width to 900 millimeters. I'm now going to double click on it, open it up in cabinet mode, select the door, right click and delete it, close it again in cabinet mode and save the changes with this top option, save modifications in the model in 3D. We can see we've quickly made some changes to that wall cabinet. Final change, let's assume the customer wants a different finish to the facades. I'm going to click on the modify style wand, go into panels and our facades are in this material. Right click and change it to this Egger H3006 material. And you can now see that Polyboard's changed all the facade materials to the newly selected material. We had our filler on the right in that material as well, so that's changed too. All manufacturing files are dynamically updated as you design. You can see the whole model here, which can be set up in a variety of views. Then we've got the cutting list, a costing report, and plans of each part in turn. If we go all the way to the last part, as well as all cabinet parts, you have the plinth and the filler, and here the worktop, all included in the output. CNC files are also available. You just select your preferred output here amongst the post-processor options. Let's finish with a few examples from the large range of complete models available in our quick design libraries. You can open them in Polyboard and see how they're set up. Project mode is a simple and fast way to design your woodwork projects and to check everything fits perfectly and looks great. You've also got instant access to 100% accurate manufacturing output, plus great presentations for your customers. Thanks very much for watching.